Hey, AME sheet metal students, welcome to AVAM 2102. Uh, when you first arrive, first day coming into our course, um, depending upon the length of the course that you're going to take, some students will be running a two week shortened course for catch up for, because of COVID, but eventually we're going to be back to a normal schedule of a four week course. Uh, the first day you come back after doing a little bit of bongo uh, introduction then we're going to gather here at BCIT uh, for either a three or a four hour um, sheet metal practical session. So when you first arrive at the school uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head in hopefully you've been given a number for where you need to be as far as your table. That way you can come inside and come into the sheet metal shop and not have to worry about uh, kind of hanging out or ending up in the wrong spot. So um, when you come in, uh, you may head upstairs at some point. You're going to go and do the test tests in the test center. So test center will be upstairs uh, and you'll need to know a color to go in the appropriate room before you go into the um, uh, the test center for all of the exams that we're going to write. But generally when you come in the first day for our first practical session, you're going to come in the front door of the school, which is pretty much right here, and we're going to hang a right and go into class 130. Uh, if you're not sure where the table is that you're supposed to be going to, there should be a, a chart which will show exactly where you're supposed to be. Find your table and head into the sheet metal shop. So welcome to Triage Central. Yeah, it looks like a COVID uh, type setup with all the individual little spots, but each person's gonna have their own little area to work in. So we can see here, a whole bunch of little individual shop positions, depending on what number you are, right on the table. Oh, let's get one where I can see it. Oh, everyone's got rivets on their table. Okay, I just finished filling up all the rivets. You'll notice, look at that, there's number eight. You'll notice that I've made sure that you can tell that's table number eight, right? And so underneath, you're gonna have a toolbox. On top, you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff so that you don't have to leave your workstation. And when you're in your workstation, it would be really nice if you'd stay in sort of the prescribed main working area. We have clearance, but we need that six foot clearance in order to have space to do what we need to do, right? So keep that in mind. Let's do a quick walk through the shop. So this is the one side. Okay, so we've got first eight little slots there. Then we've got four more with nice distancing in between each. And then when we move across the other side, so that would be nine through 12, we got 13 through 16 on this side. And so again, we've got tables all nicely spaced. Again, try and work within the, the work area that's provided. And on this side of the shop, we've got our bending brakes and our sheet metal shears. And down the end, we've also got, I'll quickly run down here, we've got our squeezer. Oh, there it is, you can see it's hidden in behind. So we're not using that shear, but we are definitely gonna be using that squeezer, okay? So welcome to my post-COVID new structure shop. A little bit different than it was a few months ago, but it's great to have everybody coming back. So I think that's the most important part of the whole thing here. So we're all gonna come in here, but we're all gonna stay in our work spaces so that we maintain our social distancing or physical distancing. What else do we need to know? So while we're in here, um, before we go to any of the uh, bending brakes or the shears, there's going to be hand sanitizer. There'll be hand sanitizer hopefully at the door when you come in. And so the goal is every time you're moving about, uh, come in, sanitize your hands, come in to your workspace and you should be able to pretty much do almost everything you need to do at your workspace. Uh, if you need to use uh, either the bending brake or the shear, when you go over there should be a, um, it's a one way road going that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a sanitizer at this end. So again, re-sanitize your hands, go in, use the piece of equipment for whatever you need and then exit the far end, there will be another sanitizer there. And so sanitize again when you leave on the far side. Uh, then you can make your way down either the central, there's a central walkway or the, uh, the main walkway over here where all the, uh, the desks are. And that way, 
while we're doing that, we're always paying attention to where other people are. Make sure you maintain the distance, okay? When you get here to the shop, you're going to go to your table. At your table, you're going to have a specific number of things to look at. And so on your countertop, hidden behind here, is our secret little box here, which should have everything that you need in order to um, carry out all of your work. Okay, so in here, we're going to have a uh, microstop countersink, which we should have talked about yesterday, a selection of the appropriate number and fractional drill bits, a bucking bar, and a bunch of Clecos in different sizings. Okay, next to that is one of the most important things, a container with some rivets in it. So on the back is going to be all our universal heads and on the front are our countersinks and it's going to be 332, 1 8th and 532 and the, the rivet lengths have already been pre-picked uh, out for you because um, we didn't want everyone, everybody having to dig through a whole bunch of different rivets so um, we're, we're making it easy for you so you're actually going to have what you need. So the other thing that you're going to find on your table is a checklist and so I want you to go through this checklist to make sure that what's in your toolbox, which is right there, uh, is in fact on the list. And it's super important that you do this. This is like being in the office when you're taking care of an airplane. Everything that's supposed to be on the list has to be in the box. If you just tick it off, I'm going to check it when you guys are done. And if you're missing anything, well, it's going to cost you because you're going to have to make up for what's missing. So go through the box, make sure that everything that's on that list is found in the toolbox. So if you've got, here's your file selection. If you've got more files, I think you're supposed to have uh, six files. If you've got eight files, write in eight files. If you've got um, extras of anything, write it down in the, in the, the list. So on the upper deck, you should have some gloves, a rivet cutter, some, a hammer, a standard hammer. Ouch, a sheet metal hammer, yeah, there it is there. Um, possibly some drill stops. Uh, in the top drawer, there's gonna be uh, aviation snips, a standard set of pliers, and Clico pliers, which, what did I do? I just hid my, there they are. I'm getting ready to use them, Clico pliers. In the second drawer down, this has got a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'll take that out. Second drawer has got a uh, bunch of clamps and C-clamps and Clico clamps and quick clamps, a deburring tool, a flush set for putting down flush rivets, the two safety springs, a bevel protractor, and a whole bunch of punches. Make sure you've got the right punches. Uh, dividers and a magnifying glass. And in the bottom drawer, a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, look at that, extra drill bits. Square, one, two, oh, that's a, that doesn't belong there. One, two, three different uh, rivet sets for universal head rivets, rivet gun, drill, and in this case, uh, drill uh, chuck, chuck key. And there should be two rulers, a big ruler, fat ruler, and yeah, trust me, there's one ah, it's buried in there and a thin ruler. So make sure you got both of those. So make sure what's supposed to be in your box is in your box. And that way we're all on the same page to start with. Okay. Once you've got that all done, you're ready to get started on the first project. Practice drilling, countersinking and riveting. You got one whole day, well, maybe a little bit on the second day, but what you want to do is you want to take the piece of metal. I've already laid out the lines and you just want to take your smallest drill bit and go for accuracy. Then uh, bring the other holes up to size, countersink the appropriate holes. I'll leave a piece of paper that explains which holes go where, and then get into riveting. Do some riveting so that uh, the second day when I hand out the actual project, you've got about three or four days to get it done, but it gives you the opportunity to get some practice before we actually start drilling and, and riveting. So, uh, welcome back. Uh, even though we're back at school, you got to keep in mind that we're still trying to control this whole COVID thing. So um, in the next couple of weeks, always be thinking about social or physical distancing, uh, washing your hands. Uh, if you're feeling sick at all, uh, you need to stay home to stop the potential spread. Um, you're going to need probably a doctor's note if you're going to miss stuff, but if you're not feeling well, Make sure you stay home. If you're going to sneeze, sneeze into your arm uh, and constantly be cleaning your hands, washing your hands, and just being aware of where you are and what you're doing. 
So that being said, welcome back, and I hope uh, hope you have a lot of fun in the next couple of weeks in the structures course.